is it a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. You know, it's, it's up to, to you to decide if it's a good thing for your music to be on subscription-based uh, websites or not. So I get a lot of questions. Uh, should I join uh, libraries and websites which uh, have a subscription base so I can sell my music? Now this is uh, an argument usually uh, arises from this kind of like uh, topics because uh, there are some people that believe it's a bad thing and devalues music because it's based on the notion that just because the customer is paying for a monthly fee or an annual fee, you are uh, devaluating your music and they can download it for a fixed price. And the other says that there is no problem at all with that. You, you might as well sell your music uh, one way or another. Now, I'm just gonna talk from my experience, what I have uh, experienced uh, with certain libraries because there are some libraries that have a subscription uh, plan for customers so they can pay a monthly fee or an annual fee and they can actually uh, download as much music as possible for, for a certain price and uh, some of them are based on points or credits. So uh, I have a join, for example, there is one library that you can actually opt for that this uh, if you want to. And uh, that library is uh, Motion Elements and uh, it's an Asian uh, website or library. And you can actually opt for their uh, global uh, partner pram or program, global program. And what it is is that you can actually opt for it. So you, 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 you can choose to join. Okay, and I have got payments funny enough because they have downloaded my music so I can sell, I can choose to actually sell my music both to people that are, or customers that are not subscribed and for people who are happen to be subscribed and they might have like a corporate account, okay? And uh, I have got payments, they pay quarterly, this is the model and you know, unless you have been living for under a rock for the last few years, everything pretty much these days is a subscription uh, base and uh, music or royalty free music is no exception the same is with uh, stock photography and there's other sites okay 123RF is another site that they are, are based on points or credit which is as, again there are a lot of corporate and there are a lot of uh, corporations who actually buy a subscription plan and they need to download music for their because they use so much they don't go and buy individual, okay? So with stock photography, it's the same thing. My wife works as an editor and uh, she works, I, I don't remember which company they work with. I don't know if it's Shutterstock or something like that, uh, but they're, they're working with books, you know, and, and they have like a massive corporate plan because they download all these photos for their books and for, you know, that's the way it is. They're not gonna go and buy individual photos. So with music, I believe it's the same thing. Now, if you think that you're devaluating your music, uh, you know, that, that's, that's, it's up to you to decide. For me, uh, the, be the best of both worlds is to sell my music uh, individually to, 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 to somebody that is buying it off uh, like that. Like, okay, I just like this piece of music and I'm just gonna buy it. And that's the price and if I have the chance to sell that same uh, music on a subscription plan then I, I, I don't lose you know that customer might have not bought that music or they might not have downloaded that piece of track uh, if it wasn't for that subscription plan to be in place in order for me to have at least to be part of it and I'm just giving you examples of uh, how small very small licenses as well like in 123RF you know there are small licenses but if you sell, they, they don't slowly add up. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know, you know, it's, it's up to, to you to decide if it's a good thing for your music to be on subscription-based uh, websites or not. Uh, I'm happy to join because I believe that it gives me even more chances to sell. And like I said, it's, I want to, to I, don't, I don't wanna choose one or the other. I want both and more, okay? So, you know, leave in the comment section, man, what, what, what's your take on subscription-based uh, websites? And uh, are you willing to join them and put your music there for sale on a, on a monthly subscription base and people can download music, you know? I know this has caused a lot of trouble and a lot of uh, division in, in, in Envato, but you know, that's the way things are going. So, anyways, man, hope this video finds you well. And uh, as always, rock and roll.